showed uh, no sign of intelligent life. The only thing is, your planet is, uh... Whoa. <laughs> wrong. Not wrong. Strange. Unusual. Um, I... We... We need to know what's inside that structure. Okay. Uh, how did our scanners miss it? Who built it? I need you to dig up everything you can. We are searching for a new home for humanity, after all. Welcome back to another episode of Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. Today we take a look at a 2020 title from 505 Games and developed by Typhoon Studios, Journey to the Savage Planet. The game is available for PC, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and the PS4. If you're into first-person shooting platformers, here is a great test of your skills. You will jump, boost, lasso, and triple boost a lot in this game. You start the game off as an employee of Kindred Aerospace, who are the fourth best at the Interstellar Exploration Company in finding a suitable planet for humans. That's right, your company is only fourth best. That means they pretty much know what to do, but they won't give you anything to do it. So you need to explore and find out how to solve problems. The game is one huge exploration, scanning, light puzzles, many secret areas to figure out, jumping around, and you can also kill the creatures on the planet that get in your way or not, depending on your supplies. Platforming never felt this good in a first person shooter. It just feels right. Whenever I jump, I know where I'm going to land, and estimating extreme areas are much easier to navigate than you would think. It gets tricky when you need a, to do a boost or lasso to get to higher places, but once you get the controls down, it's pretty smooth. Once you master the controls, it feels like you are a natural bionic commando, a Batman, or to a lesser effect, Spider-Man. There are plenty of items to explore with a use around puzzles that will leave you laughing to yourself or, if you want, with a friend. That's right, you can bring a friend along with you on the ride. Be aware that only the main person can have a save file that's playable in a single or co-op. Your friend is there too just to help you out, but gets no credit in the saved game. Also be aware that there is a major issue when playing online. If you are playing online in co-op and your friend drops out due to a connection problem, then you drop out of the game as well. You will have to start at your spaceship again if you want to continue. This was a huge frustration due to while I was exploring and finally getting to the top of a platforming, mastering and precise jumping and boosting everywhere, I finally made it to see that we were both dropped out at the same time. It does get frustrating depending on how far you are in the game, so make sure your buddy and yourself both have a good connection. Also, be careful of friendly fire since it's always on. I killed my buddy by accident many times since he was in my way when I tried to kill another creature. 
if there is a way to turn that off I couldn't find it but it made our travels that much more cautious and actually added to our tactics the controls are tight and responsive I never once blamed the controls or being in a first-person shooter if I missed a time jump the game will last you about 10 to 15 hours co-op and more if it is in a single player the biggest hurdles are the enemies where in co-op was very gratifying where one is distracting the enemy and the other one shoots it. Much easier than on your own, if you ask me. The graphics are bright and colorful and the different areas have their own personality from freezing to warm to damp and back to cold again. There is a filter you can use to make the graphics whatever you like. I prefer the original but it was a nice addition. Overall I love the atmosphere as it changes from area to area. The controls were tight and the platforming, boosting and lassoing felt right. The graphics doesn't push any technological advancements but it is bright colorful and full of nice designs worthy of an alien planet. The writing is fun and reminds you of Borderlands. Journey to the Savage Planet gets a 7.5 out of 10. The game was a nice diversion but frustration with online co-op connections bring down the game just a bit. Hopefully fixed in a patch. That's it for me on this episode. Please like or subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg Take us out of here. 